Hi, Barbara's calling. I just downloaded a copy of your template. I downloaded the SharePoint Designer 2000, um, SharePoint Designer 2007 version um, using the XML, the H, the X HTML format, not the HTML5. Basically, if you look up here, this is what's going to determine where or if you see any errors. Like this is the uh, version I've downloaded for SharePoint Designer with, without showing any errors. Um, if you see anything in there, it may just mean that you have the HTML5 version. It's not going to make a big difference. Um, it just means because SharePoint Designer itself is not HTML5 compatible. It just doesn't understand how to uh, properly detect the, the code. That's all. Um, but uh, other than that, um, there shouldn't be any errors. And if there are, it's most likely just due to this tag. It's called the doc type up here. And what the doc type does is determines what type of coding is using is either XHTML or HTML5, right? But in the real world, in the browser world, when you're actually viewing the site through your web browser, it doesn't care what your editor thinks. It just wants to make sure that everything is uh, uh, working as it should. And the best way to determine anything is just simply preview your page in your web browser. If it looks good, thumbs up. Um, but when you're looking at the code, just so you know, if you look up here and you see um, this doc type with all this information here, that means it's an X HTML version for SharePoint Designer 2007. If you see just something like doc type HTML and that's it, you know, like basically all this stuff is, is just gone and it looks something like this, then you have an HTML5 version and you're going to see errors in the yellow code. But there's actually no errors, it's just the fact that SharePoint Designer itself can't identify HTML5. It can only identify X HTML. But still, in the long run, it's not going to make a difference to the web website. The web brow a web browser doesn't care about that. A web browser just wants to make sure that, you know, whatever, you're either using one or the other, and not a mixture of both. And that's the way we sort of design the packages. It's either XHTML or HTML5.